So why just buy one house when you can buy the whole damn suburb? This town in California is up for sale. Now you'll never guess which NFL owner decided not just to write a check to charity, but to give his house away to charity. And lastly, Rihanna, she's saying, better have my money. She just put her penthouse into contract for over $25 million. I'm Jeff Say Allen with Sirhan here on Estate Media, and let's get to the point. Now, in most major markets, if you make a purchase of $6.6 .6 million, you're guaranteed to have a beautiful trophy listing. But if you go to Campo, California, for $6.6 .6 million, you can really expand your real estate portfolio and purchase, look at this, the entire, essentially the entire downtown Campo. Now, this consists of 16 acres, 28 buildings, and over 95,000 square feet. So as you're looking to become a real estate maven, Take a look at this listing for 6.6 .6 million. I think that's a pretty good deal. So taking the number four spot this week, we all know that interest rates have been hovering around six to seven for sale. And that's pretty much had Briars pump the brakes on moving forward with transactions. But according to NAR, there's still about 15 um, markets where property bargains are available. Take a look at this. Number one on this list is New York. Not New York City, but Elmira, New York, with almost a 15% difference year over year change with pricing. And then San Antonio, Cape Coral, and Panama City. I'm really surprised to see Boulder on that list. So if you're looking to get a bargain, especially in real estate, I never thought I would say New York, but Elmira, that is, may be a great location for you to make a purchase. So coming in at number three on our list this week is something that's a little bit unconventional. So Dan Snyder, the former owner of the Washington uh, Commanders in the NFL, he tried to sell his mansion for 49 million dollars no offers he did a price cut to 35 million dollars no offers so then what he decided to do he decided to to basically give his home to charity and he donated it to the american cancer society and so now the american cancer society acs is trying to sell it right now for 35 million dollars and hopefully they're able to do that but here's what's really savvy about this by donating the home it affords him a larger tax break and so that's really the upside for him and hopefully the upside for the American Cancer Society and they get to actually sell the home and keep the proceeds. So best of luck to everybody involved. So taking our number two spot this week on the list is our latest celebrity sale and it's Rihanna. Rihanna just went into contract for her penthouse in LA located on the 40th floor. Now this is the penthouse that was previously owned by Matthew Perry. It was listed for $25 million. Now this penthouse is over 9,200 square feet uh, it's four bedrooms, has beautiful views of the um, you know skyline views and Pacific Ocean. And also, she brought this last year for $23 million. So you know Rihanna's gonna make a little bit of money off this. So right now, I'm pretty sure she's playing, but I have my money, because she's about to close it real soon. So just so we thought we were gonna have a countdown without mentioning NAR, not so fast. Um, this is an indirect impact of NAR because uh, this earnings season, many of the brokerages have had a lackluster earnings season. Part and parcel, obviously, is because of the supply and demand, increase in interest rates, but also because all of these firms seen here, all of them have settled their antitrust um, lawsuits for commissions, and that's had a negative impact on balance sheets. But of course, these brokerages um, feel like we're about to be on the other side, we're waiting for the um, uh, rate drop that should be happening soon, which will ultimately get buyers off the fence and increase uh, the level of transactions in this industry as a whole. Thanks for watching and continue to follow Estate Media to get all your latest real estate news.